What's going on, YouTube? Welcome to the Endless Entrepreneurs YouTube channel. My name is Luke Henson, and I am a part-time eBay seller, a part-time real estate investor, and a full-time consultant in the corporate finance world. Uh, I kind of juggle the three businesses in, uh, throughout my life and uh, spend probably more time on eBay than real estate. Real estate is kind of the backseat to the eBay. eBay funds my real estate, and then uh, I have my day job consulting that keeps me going. So welcome if you're new to the channel. If you're uh, back uh, and follow my journey normally, I appreciate it. And uh, today I've got a full load of, uh, of finds here from today. When outsourcing, I hit Goodwill, Salvation Army, and Marshalls. Um, starting to work marshals more into uh, my sourcing here in Charlotte. We have quite a few marshals. Uh, just trying to find more uh, shoes a lot on the like, clearance deals and things like that, just to push up my average sale price. Um, uh, true to form of these videos, I will go through what I bought, talk about what I bought it for, what I think it'll sell for, and uh, just in hopes that it'll help you when you're out there looking for things to buy and flip. Um, so today's kind of a diverse haul, I guess, because I did do a Goodwill Salvation and Marshalls. I did stop at a Ross, and it was pretty. Uh, I don't know. It wasn't that great. <laughs> um, I, I don't like that they don't have a separate clearance section. I think it makes it kind of difficult for, especially for me. I'm not. That's not my expertise. Is to find good deals right away. Um, also, like at Marshalls has the clearance section for shoes, so it's really easy to find like yellow tags and the different things like that and look them up. Uh, versus Ross, you kind of got to work through all of it. So I came out empty-handed from Ross. I did find one 99 cent item that was marked down, but it was like. It just seemed like a private label, like no name brand uh, shirt. So I just I passed on it. Um, but let me uh, jump in. It looks like my sound is good. Hello, everyone who's stopping. This is a live show. If you're rewatching it for a second time, um, that is why I'm interacting with the audience here. So let me start with Salvation Army since the bag's on the top. There's no real order to this. I'm just going to pull them out as I go. Uh, <clears throat> so one of the first things I found when I got in there was a, uh, it was a leather jacket. and. I try to pick them up when they're decent brands if they're good prices. And today, blue tags are half off, so it's eight ninety nine. So I actually got this for four fifty, and it's Roundtree in New York. So it's kind of like a mall brand, but it is hundred percent leather, genuine leather. It's in like flawless condition. There's like one little mark on the right here, and like one little scuff mark here. But I think that's actually gonna rub off. I just kind of wipe it with like a wet cloth. So I'm not sure I'm pricing for these, but usually like the decent mall brand leather jackets, I can get 40 to 64 um, with shipping. Sometimes a little more depending on the size and color and style and stuff. So, but either way, at four dollars and fifty cents, pretty easy pick up there. Uh, found some mountain khaki pants. These are one of my favorite brands. Actually, I haven't found it a lot lately, uh, so I was pretty happy to, to pick this up. And it's a pretty big and unusual size. It's 38 by 36, so for a really tall person. Um, I did pay, well, it's supposed to be $6.99, but when I rang up, the guy gave me 50% off everything, which normally that's only Wednesday here for Salvation Army. So I was pretty happy. I ended up getting a pretty good deal on all the stuff I picked up. Had I known he was going to do that, there was more stuff I passed on that I probably would have picked up, but that's the way it goes. Uh, so these are just like gray, kind of like that heavier um, twill type pant, a work pant. I've historically got, these have like a little stain in the bottom, like a, like a faded oil stain. Um, even with that, they'll still sell probably for the high 20s with shipping. Uh, if they're flawless, and even the size, I may try to hold out for like in the low 30s, but this brand just does really, really well for me. Um, all right. Pick up this Florida State. Uh, Russell Athletics, and it looks like one of their vintage tags. I tried to find the year on here, um, but it's a 50-50 it's a cotton poly blend. Uh, it's in really good condition. Probably like mid-20s, I would think, probably 25 to 28-ish with shipping. Uh, found quite a few Hawaiian shirts today. So this was a Kaleo, I think is how you pronounce it, it's made in Hawaii. Uh, I'd never found this brand before, I don't think. Uh, but comps look really good, especially for ones with blood patterns like this. Uh, they look like high 20s to mid 30s when I was looking at it. So I'm not sure if it'll go that well or not, but I think I at least can get mid 20s for this. And uh, again, pick that up. I guess I got half off for both of these. So the sweatshirt was $2.50 and this was $2. So for $2, can't really miss there. Uh, here's a Tory Richard shirt. Again, pick this up for two bucks. Here is your tag. Tory Richard is a large it's cotton. They're both cotton. Uh, if they're silk, they obviously sell it even better. But Tory Richard, I usually can get like you know a solid twenty-five bucks for those. 
Um, this was probably the, I don't know, it's the find of the Sylvia Shrine, but it was a pretty good one. So, <clears throat> new tags, Polo Ralph Lauren. It's a silk and linen blend shirt. It's like a short sleeve kind of Hawaiian camp style shirt, just beige. Uh, I looked this sucker over. I thought for sure there'd be flaws in that. It was marked three ninety nine. I'm like, there's no way. Salvation Army is usually more expensive than Goodwill. And I looked this thing over and over and over and over in different lighting, and I couldn't find anything wrong with it. So uh, for $2, because he gave it to me half off, I got new with tags, Polar Elf Friends. So pretty pumped about that. Not sure on comps what it'll actually sell for. Um, retail says 75 I'll probably try to get 40 for it. Uh, maybe in the mid 30s. I know new tag rough lens a little bit saturated, but that's more of a unique item with the silk linen blend. So hopefully it'll do a little better. Uh, then I found this Tommy Bahama, which I ended up getting for two dollars. It's a double XL and it's a very loud pattern. Um, so these ones always do well for me, probably mid twenties. Um, usually, I would say twenty two to like twenty six is the range for the bigger size Tommy Bahamas with nice patterns. Uh, oh, someone's asking, Christine's asking to see Thor, or Christy's asking to see Thor. Thor is outside with Shannon right now. Shannon just got back. She's been training for a marathon, so she did one of her long runs today. She's just starting to scale up, did like seven miles today. So she's outside, relaxed with Thor. So unfortunately, no Thor today. Um, this is half off again, so we got it for $2. It's a Nike Miami Hurricanes uh, polo shirt. I think it's like a 50-50 blend. Feels like that anyway. It's like a cotton poly blend. Uh, usually these polos, I, I list them pretty high in this hold. Um, if they're in Nike and they're in really good shape like that. So I would say probably around 25 bucks for that. And let me see. I got the receipt the bottom of the bag here. Hold on. So yeah, I think all in all, he charged me at five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they got nine things there, and nine items for twenty one eighty two. <laughs> so pretty good, pretty good deal there. Pretty excited about that. <clears throat> um, all right, let's do. Let's talk about the Marshall stuff. I got that right here. Uh, so Marshalls, I hadn't signed up for their credit card yet, so I did that. Um, ended up getting ten percent off for signing up for their credit card, and then um, I had another. Uh, I had something like a rewards the rewards coupon or something, some type of clearance thing that I had in my email. So I didn't get another 10% off. So I didn't get 20% off total. Um, these were yellow tagged at $29. Uh, they are uh, Nike Air. I'm not sure the specific line. I typed them in. I'm pretty new to shoes. So I pretty much just been typing in the the, um, the number on the SKU and just figuring it out from there. But these are size 12. I saw a couple of these had sold for like 60 to 70. Um, a couple more had sold from like 50 to 60, but they didn't seem to didn't seem to be oversaturated, especially at that size. So we'll see how they do. I mean, I ended up they were 29 with yellow, and then with the 20 percent off. So um, you know, got these for low 20s. I don't think I can. I think no matter what, I'm going to make a decent amount of money on them. We'll see how they do. Um, what else we got here? And then I found two pair of these Florida Gators. Um, again, these are marked 29 yellow tag. And I found two pair of them. I uh, so had that same deal off. And let's show you here. So you got the uh, so you got Florida the Gators on the tongue of them. I found some Texas Longhorn ones when I was in uh, Florida, actually. Oddly enough, uh, and I just listed those a little bit ago. Seem to be going, these ones are going a little cheaper than the Longhorns ones. The Texas Longhorn ones were going for like uh, somewhere between like 70 and 90 where a lot of the solds. Um, these ones seem to be between like 60 and 70, most of them. Uh, I saw a couple in the 50s, so we'll see. I mean, low 20s, I paid for these. If I could sell them for 50 plus shipping, I mean, that's I'm pretty happy with that, especially if we're just picking up new shoes right off the clearance rack. Um, and like I said, I found two pair of those. So I got receipts and everything here. So these are the second pair. And they both, I think they're the same size. The, the Texas ones I found were the same size, so I got to do a multi quantity. Yeah, they're both size 11. So I'll set those over there. And then I also found, so this is a Woolrich. Um, it's like a heavier wool button up shirt. And it was yellow tag for six bucks. Um, now, Woolrich, like, it's kind of a hit or miss brand used like 
the heavy, heavy like bar and work shirts, I usually can get like 24. I don't really pick them up much anymore just because they're heavy to ship and they're hard to fit in flat rates. Um, but I picked this up for six new with tags. I'm not sure what I'll get. I didn't even look up comps. I just grabbed it at six. It's an XL. I'm going to try to market for like 25 and see what happens. Um, maybe maybe even a little higher once I do research. But I think that I should be okay. I don't think I'll lose with that one. And actually, sorry, it was cheaper than six. It got 20% off. So even more competitive there. And then this was actually probably the find of the day. I wish they had more of these. Um, so this was an Under Armour... Uh, reactor winter jacket, kind of like that, uh, like thermal puffer jacket type. And this was marked down to 40 bucks. Um, it was only marked down from 59.99, which I thought was interesting um, from a Marshall's pricing perspective. I mean, these retail for 199. You can see there. And I saw pretty much all the comps on eBay that ones have sold for various colors, and even this color looked to be like 99 to 120 ish. Um, and then I saw like one that sold a little cheaper to like 85, but either way at 40, even if I flipped it for 85 bucks, I was still really happy. It's pretty lightweight. Um, this might, uh, it's probably over 16 ounces. Maybe it's going to be close. Um, but either way, like 85, if I, I wish if they had more of these, I would have cleaned them out for 40 bucks. Um, they look like they're selling pretty good, especially still this time of year. So, um, that was probably the find that I was most excited about from Marshall's. I mean, the shoes are cool, but, uh, I think that'll sell pretty quick. And I'm going to be trying to incorporate Marshalls in more and more with things like that and just trying to find opportunities to get some higher price items moving like that. Um, someone said they're still waiting on the third yellow tag from the Phoenix and are the Marshalls at Phoenix. Oh, and someone's here all the way from Slovakia. Wow, nice for stopping in. Thank you. Um, oh, wow. That, that's an interesting fact. So, Thelma Thrift said, according to Sports Illustrated, Texas Longhorns is the most profitable college logo. That's interesting. I wonder, uh, I guess people love their college sports down, down south. That makes sense, I guess. <clears throat> All right, now the Goodwill. So Goodwill I did pretty well with. Um, I'm going to go back out thrifting tomorrow. There's a Valley Village near where I live now. Um, I'm going to hit that up, trying to find more suits and blazers. They have the Valley Villages around here actually are loaded with suits and blazers. You just got to find them right on the tag sale days. Uh, so I'm going to start frequenting those a little more just because I'm trying to find more suits and blazers to get up and diversify a little heavier in that. Uh, then I might hit one more Goodwill tomorrow. But in any case, let me dump these out. All right. So at Goodwill here, um, all pants are $3.99 and all jeans are $4.99. So this bag right here is just all pants. So these were uh, Andrew Pant Polo Rough Lend, which I normally don't pick up. I usually only pick up the ones with um, the pony on the back. These ones have like this logo. But these were uh, the big line. So if you can see, it's big right there. And they were, they're pretty, they're flawless. And they're 44 by 30. So um, <clears throat> probably put these up for $24.99 plus shipping. They'll probably sell somewhere in like 25 to that 30 range shipped. Um, I, the, I've had really good experience with the big big and tall lines and pants uh, for Polar Off as long as they're flawless. So uh, here is some Lucky Brand men's jeans. These are 32 by 34. Uh, they are Italian denim. So that's the first time I've ever seen that. And they're the 221 original straight line. They're just a dark blue. Here's your Lucky Brand in the back. Uh, again, Lucky Brand jeans are just, men's jeans are kind of my bread and butter jeans. I get them anywhere from 30 to 40 all day long for them. They sell pretty pretty steadily for me. So um, happy to grab those. Found a pair of silver jeans. Uh, these, I never pronounced that right. So I'm just going to show it to you. And these appear to be cropped. Um, they are a size 26, and it looks like they were, I'm not sure if, it looks like the original stitching, so I'm guessing these were cropped. Let me see if I can find the style set, style on them. Oh, they're capris, yeah, so they're, they're capris. Um, I'm gonna guess, especially with spring coming up, that'll be nice timing. Uh, probably somewhere in like the low 30s for these shipped. Uh, here's some seven for all mankind. And these are, let's see, these are the Flint line. 
I believe these are men's. I'll have to do some digging. I'm pretty sure looking at the pockets, they look wide and flint's usually men's line, dark blue. Um, if, if they are, I can validate that. Usually I get like in the mid 30s for these. Here is some Levi's, two super lows. This is one of the few Levi's lines I pick up for women's jeans. Uh, the 524s, they're black, in great shape. Usually can get low 20s plus shipping, so we're you know, probably around that mid mid 20s price point. Uh, found some, and this is and this is another thing. I don't know how they are at your Goodwills, if, but in Charlotte here, they have a men's jeans section and they have a women's jeans section. But the women's jeans section always is packed with men's jeans. So I, I always go through both regardless. But it's just funny because I end up finding more men's jeans in the women's section. This is one of the pairs. It's Italian Bahama jeans. Uh, they are, let's see, I think a 38 by 32, easy fit. Your logo on the back. Uh, Italian Bahama jeans, you usually get 30 bucks pretty much all day long for uh, or more with men's. These do have like a little fade mark on the bottom um, near one of the cuffs. So uh pop to mark on a little bit for that but it's not too egregious where it's gonna destroy or take away from the sale that much and then this is the first time i've ever found these um uh, they're not your daughter's jeans uh this is the tummy tuck jeans i've never found these before i've heard people talk about them um comps look pretty strong for these so i picked them up 4.99 we'll see uh when they do some research on how to keyword them but again first time i ever find them took a shot picked them up comps looked good and then I got one more bag from Goodwill here. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Tom. I appreciate it. Yeah, if you guys don't mind hitting that, uh, hit that like button for me while you're watching. Let's good or let's uh, YouTube know that uh, the content is valuable, and I appreciate it. All right, found uh, it's a couple new attacks things. So this was I got this for uh, three ninety nine. It looks like a ugly Christmas sweater, uh, walnut and thirty nine. But it says, uh, I think it says single, single and ready to jingle. Uh, so I'm sure it's not going to sell now, but I've, I've been picking up. I've actually been finding a lot of ugly sweaters, like ugly Christmas sweaters. Lately. I've been stocking up on them. Um, I mean, it costs 10 cents to list it all year, so $1. twenty may sell sooner. Who knows? But um, I'll probably list it anyways. Athletic fit, it's marked as. Um, who knows if it doesn't sell by next year. I guess I, it's not appropriate for me to wear it, but I'm sure I have plenty of buddies who would want to be looking for it. So. Uh, that was a nice find. And I found this vintage uh, Hanes. It's Hanes wear, Hanes her way. It's just an unprinted plain navy sweatshirt. Um, a lot of the vintage, like, um, like Hanes and different just blank um, sweatshirts and garments like that, that, you know, screen printers would buy and screen print on, uh, they end up being, you know, worth quite a bit. This one has the U.S. Olympic stuff on it. I saw comps about 20 25 for these, so... Uh, we'll see. Again, I paid three ninety nine. Just took a shot on it. Um, found this cool Michigan State. Probably not great timing right now with the news and everything, but it's a double two XL. Yeah, double XL, and it's from the Rose Bowl um, in two thousand fourteen, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'm sure some Michigan State fan will pick this up. It's Nike. It's in great, great condition. Um, I usually can get. Probably high 20s, low 30s for this, I would guess. I'm going to price this pretty high and just hold on. Um, and then here is a Hagger clothing. Uh, it's just just a new, it's new with tags. Picked up 399 polo shirt. It's like a dry fit UV protection one, probably 1999. Um, it was kind of borderline. I almost didn't grab it. I just habitually always grab things like this. And uh, I know I'm trying to drive my average sell price up, but I grabbed it anyways. So we'll see. Has a retail of 40, so you usually can get about 50% of retail typically. Um, I decided on Ralph Lauren. I'm going to get um, I'm gonna keep picking them up, even if I'm not gonna list them individually anymore. I've had a couple good ideas from viewers. I've been researching a little bit. I'm just gonna pick them up every time I find them and they're in good shape. This is just Yarmouth uh, 1632. And when I get three of any particular size, I'm just gonna lock together and make a listing. Uh, that way it's just kind of worth my time a little more to do it that way than to list them individually. Um, and I think that'll, I'm just gonna try that and see how it goes. It works well for the polo shirts for me, so we'll see how it does for the dress shirts. Um, for Brooks Brothers polo, sorry, I don't do the rough line ones. Uh, here's Brooks Brothers Slim Fits. Still gonna pick up the Slim Fit non-irons. They just, they always sell well, so. 
They're just kind of that $20 price point bread and butter. Uh, this is a sweet find. Uh, cool, K-U-H-L. If you haven't heard of this brand, you need to know it. It sells so fast and for a very decent price. This is a short sleeve pearl snap. Um, I would expect 35 bucks for this right around there, maybe even 40. I'll do some research. It is a smaller size, but uh, it sells really, really well. All right, here is Masters. Um, I haven't picked up as many as lately, but April's right around the corner. Um, this is the kind of the trademark green and white striped. It was in flawless condition, so probably prices for around 20, 22 bucks. Um, this is one I just picked up for me. It's just a golf Nike Tour Performance Polo shirt. I'm gonna keep, um, may list it and wear it. Um, it's got a local country club to here. And golf season's around the corner, and I plan to do a bit more golfing this year than I have in the other years. So, and again, t-shirt picked up for myself. It's a local brewery. And here's the Gitman Brothers. Um, so these are, this is the big and tall. Uh, it's an XL tall. Blue. Gitman Brothers is a pretty slow seller for me nowadays, but the big and tall is a pretty good deal. I don't really pick up Gitman Brothers that much anymore um, unless it's a really unique pattern or size, so that kind of fit the build. Here's a Polar off on sweater. It's a quarter zip. Um, I still can get 20 to 25 for these. Um, they're slower sellers, but they do sell. And this one is in like flawless condition. It's also my size, so I'll probably list it and wear it. Uh, sticking with that college theme, found this really awesome Nike uh, Florida Gators polo shirt. Oops, sorry, there's your logo. Um, it's in great shape, really, really cool. It's got a stripe on the back of it. Um, kind of has like that vented material on the back too. Like, um, So I think it'll do pretty well. And yeah, Chrissy, I don't really find cool very often around here either. Um, I don't find a lot of Patagonia around here either. Uh, a lot of the outdoor brands, oddly enough, I don't find. I uh, found this Ermin Gil. This is a pretty unique Ermin Gildo Zegna shirt. It's a short sleeve button front. It's got like a textured. I don't know what it is. It's kind of like a floral pattern, I guess. Um, but here's your here's your logo. Probably get high twenties for this. Uh, here's another Brooks Brothers Slim Fit Non Iron. Just a yellow shirt. Uh, again, pick these up 20 bucks all day long. And then the only blazer I found all day, which is pretty disappointing because I was, really was focusing on those, uh, was this um, Manny uh, Giorgio Armani uh, suit jacket. And it's just like a gray woven pattern. Um, my guess is probably around 40 for this. It's two buttons, so it's a good style. Or no, it's three button. So slightly less popular style. Fully lined. Great shape. 100% wool. I don't know what the size is. I don't know if it has a. Uh, oh, it's 46 long, too, so that'll help it sell. But probably around 40 to 50 for this, if I had to guess. So that's what I got. Only one blazer, Ronnie. I know. I'm really disappointed. <laughs> I literally had the mission of finding shoes and blazers and suits today and came back with everything but that, it seems like. Oh, I came back with some shoes, um, a lot of jeans, but it is what it is. Uh, going back out tomorrow to uh, kind of redeem myself and find more blazers, sport jackets, and suits. So I'll take some questions or just chat a little bit. I was uh, messaging Glenn, uh, one person who follows my channel. He also has Instagram. Um, I was just texting him before this a little bit about sales. My sales have just been anemic lately. Like I've listed over 200 items, I think, this month, mostly in the last like 11 or 10 days. Um, and I, I've sold $500 in the last seven days. It's just been brutal. And I'll do a sales, my weekly sales update video tomorrow. I kind of put it off because I'm just like, I don't even know what the, like, I just haven't sold a ton of stuff to even talk about. Um, and like my returns have also spiked just randomly the last like three or four days. So it's just like insult to injury. And I know I'll come out of it, you know, you come out of it, you just keep listening, you keep pushing through it and, you know, finding more and more things. I also think that I'm shifting kind of what I'm listing. It's going to take a little bit to catch back up. But um, it's it's been pretty brutal, um, pretty brutal the last week and a half or so. I remember last January wasn't great, but like I don't know. It's just I have I mean I have thirteen hundred fifty items up, 
and only sell five hundred dollars worth of stuff is pretty crazy. I mean, I have like I think it's like fifty fifty some thousand dollars worth of inventory listed, and it's not really overpriced. It's priced pretty appropriately, uh, so it's pretty interesting. Um, I am switching to the white background. We'll see if that. I, I have this, I need to keep testing things because I'm starting to wonder if a lot of things eBay was saying they're going to do with their algorithm, if it's finally they're starting to execute on it a little bit. Um, I'm still holding off. Like, I like charging shipping right now. I don't really want to switch back to free shipping, but I'm trying the white background and trying to see what's going on with that. And yeah, so I guess I, I'm not familiar with Marshalls that much. It looks like, so these yellow tag sales, they don't do all the time, must be. They do them kind of seasonally. Ronnie says sales have been strong for him in the last 10 or 14 days. Yeah, I saw you had some pretty crazy sales, Ronnie. And if you guys don't know Ronnie, he's in the chat. Hearts Pickers, you should definitely check out his channel. He uh, he is a wealth of knowledge. The stuff he sells is just, I'm always jealous watching some of the sales he has. Um, twice a year, Ronnie said. Okay, cool. I mean, there's still some deals we had even with the normal clearance, um, for sure. But the yellow tags are real nice. Well, and I think what's happening to my sales is kind of biting me in the butt. Is I literally didn't list barely at all from end of September through the whole fourth quarter and through the wedding because we were getting the other house ready to rent, moving into the new house here. Like, there's just so much to do the wedding, and so like. I Pretty very minimally, and so I think I really sold off all the momentum I built up from 2017 in that fourth quarter. And now that I'm just starting to list again, it's like I kind of got to the end of that momentum, and now I have to build it back up. So I think it's just the pain of it. I'm trying not to knee jerk and course correct too hard because it's like you kind of got to just stay the course. But again, like just experimenting with things like white backgrounds, um, changing my listing titles a little bit. Um, I am this year going to switch to, and I'll have a bigger video about this. I'm going to switch to doing my cost of goods by actual cost. Um, and I'm actually going to use the custom SKU field to do that. Um, my big reason is because now, like before it was easy to do average costing because all my inventory, I mean, around here at Goodwills, it's all between like three and $10. So you can average it out pretty decently. But now that I'm starting to do some retail arbitrage and a lot of different, you know, price points, I think it's really important to track it for its actual cost. Um, I, it's kind of stinks cause it's going to be a little more work up front. Um, but it's, I just want to make sure like I've always had a really good idea of my profitability. I've always been good with my numbers and even average costing was pretty darn accurate because my price bands were so close to each other. But now that they're going to get wider, I don't, I just, I don't want to lose sight of the profitability and make sure that I'm making smart decisions. Okay. So Chrissy said yellow tags are January, February and July, August only. Very good. Well, I guess I'll be shopping Marshalls through the end of February for sure then. Uh, all right. Well, if there's no more questions, I just wanted to vent a little bit there about sales. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. That's what I picked up today. I'm going to spend the next uh, two hours listing. And then uh, Shannon and I are going to go out. We usually do date night on Saturday night. And um, then probably tomorrow I'm going to source again. And then I'll have a sales update video tomorrow. Uh, as promised, I've just been kind of delaying that hoping a few more sales will come in to have a little more to talk about so thanks Aaron, for stopping in definitely hit that uh oh someone just asked this is a good question have you changed anything with the postal rate increase uh, i haven't yet i think all i'm going to do is right now i have flat shipping so i have 5.99 shipping on all my items um i think the two changes i'm going to make is i'm going to make my shoes a custom business policy for my shoes and they're going to be calculated shipping and then i'm going to do I'm going to increase from $5.99 to $6.99 because pretty much what I did is I put flat shipping using the padded flat or the not, sorry, using the regular fat, uh, flat rate envelopes because pretty, I would say 75% of the items fit in that for me. Um, and a lot of, if they don't go first class, they go in that. So I figure if I just charge $5.99, it kind of covers me. Um, but I think since that's up to like $6.50 now, I might just go up to $6.99 and just have that cover me. Um, and yeah, Chrissy, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm using, I've, I've been using the custom SKU for my inventory number, but now I'm definitely going to use it for inventory number. And then I'm just using a dash and then my cost of goods. And, you know, you can export and do a text to columns and just do a quick little pivot table to see where you're at. So um, I am gonna I plan to do a full video in February. Once I get my whole inventory, I got I to gotta go through. I've been going through every night, spend a half hour updating a few listings. Once it's all updated, 
and then I'll show everyone kind of how I do that because I know not everyone is super Excel savvy. Um, I use Excel every day, all day from you know, my day job consulting. Uh, so I just I happen to be in it a lot more. So I have no, I'm going to do kind of a tutorial video just to show people if that's what they want to do. Um, it's a pretty simple way. You don't really have to have accounting software to do it. And eBay has a nice framework to do it in now. So anyways, enough rambling. Thank you for stopping in, guys. Hit that like button for me, and uh, I'll be back on tomorrow with a sales update video. Have an awesome day, guys. See ya.